Sure been enjoying my time here so far. I spent nearly all of it right there inside that garage. Yeah. I'm over here. It is quiet and peaceful. And uh, I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, got some more goats around here again, though. I told you guys I was going to plant some seeds as soon as we got here. Well, there's new goats on the scene. This guy down the beach uh, decided that it was okay to put goats in my property. In fact, he was housing them here inside my property. How can I have what I want when there's goats here eating everything? <sighs> yeah, turns out he was tying them right here by my boat. I knew it smelled like urine there. I said, man, I told Melinda, I said, I think people are peeing inside here right, right by the boat here. I mean, right there. Every time I walked by it, super urine smell. Then I was told, this guy down the beach is keeping his goats inside my place while we're overseas. And they told him to get them out before I come back because James will be mad. <laughs> uh, so I, I guess you see some things don't change. So now it ain't the family with the goats. Now it's a neighbor down there with the goats. I happen to like the guy. And out of that lock and I would assume a little bit of a friendship I had with him that he would respect and not have them in here. Maybe because we do have a good rapport, he probably thought, you know, uh, James won't mind. I don't know. Uh, I ain't gonna make a war over it because I do like him. I do. I like the guy. He's always super nice to me and I'll just deal with it slowly, play by play, right? Well, let's go look at the CR. The one that we built over the top of the septic tank the last time I was here and we were trying to hurry and do some last minute stuff on it before I left. So in the, the last video, they were plastering outside walls, they got the door in there and they had also yeah, put on the roof. So they had poured the concrete roof, had all supports inside, were plastering the walls and I had used the dreaded local hollow block and uh, we got the door in there. Arlie did a great job putting in this door and putting in the windows. Well, we left the supports inside in here when we left because we wanted to let the roof continue to cure. And uh, was it no hurry anyway? I said, just leave it, let it cure. I'll pull them out when I get back. So that is what I'm going to do now. I don't think these are probably the sharpest wire cutters that I have. By a long shot. Seems like they're pretty dull. I'm having to twist it into more than anything. Weight loss is coming on, let me tell you. Back in the heat, I'm staying busy, and uh, I'm drinking lots of water, less coffee, hardly no food. Y'all wondering, what's James eating? He ain't showing us no food videos. I'm not hardly eating nothing. I'm, so far, I've not had breakfast. I've skipped the meals. Part of them on the plane, there was a lot of meals. And I uh, only ate part of it then. I've uh, only ate lunch, no dinners. And uh, they're over there with a big festival of food at the house right now, celebrating her mom's birthday. I ain't ate one bit of it. All I've had is that watermelon. Yeah, I'm telling you, this big belly has got to go. So, uh, yeah, work. Don't eat so much and drink a lot of water. More exercise, more exercise. And not the exercise you pay for at a gym either. Crazy. So I got the uh, prison cell here cleaned out. 
Yes, I did. Look at all of that bamboo and a couple pieces of cocoa lumber. Yep, so you can see around in here now. I've still got to pull all this wood down off the ceiling in here, off the walls, and uh, then clean it up all in here. You see all this rubble everywhere. But guys, check this out, man. I should have got an opinion of what this is. Some kind of freaky spider boy. I don't know. I haven't encountered him yet. A little nervous. I'm going to go get me a can of buck killer. Look at that. What the heck? And it's just like cotton, like cotton candy when you touch it. Man. What is that? Y'all comment and tell me, man. Look at that. And that is a web. You can tell it used to come on down here. Tell me what you think that is. I don't know. Uh, don't know, don't touch it, right? <laughs> I ain't messing with no crazy tropical spiders. Ain't any spider from home that I know about. And I can discern what it is and, and how dangerous, so my hands are off. I'm not pulling down on that ceiling or nothing until I get some opinion and a whole bunch of buck killer. <laughs> well what would you do tell me what would you do in that situation so all right i'm gonna get out of this hot heck hole right here and uh go get me something to drink so i'll see you guys later i appreciate you watching this little video of uh the update on the cr right here and uh part of this home series you know building here at the beach if you want an outdoor cr people come in from swimming salty sandy uh, guest parties here in this backyard. You don't want all those people tracking back and forth in your house, especially when your house is built up off the ground on the second floor. Well, if you're outside in the yard and you got to do you do, right? Staircases are dangerous in that situation. Dangerous. <laughs> so this is part of the beach build. All right. Thank you much, guys. Appreciate you again. Always see you on the next video. Now, folks, there is just something awesome about shaving out here on the beach using an old broke car mirror. Yep. There is just something just absolutely wonderful. Just feels like you're liberated from all that nonsense. Yep, just using an old car mirror. Shaving, right outdoors, coconut trees, listen to the waves crash across the sandbar with the even the tide coming on in right now. Yeah, something pretty great about that, man. I tell you, that is living life right there. The simple things. Why does shaving require so much? Why those simple things in life require so much. To me, this is living the life.